feeding the community is a passion of Bridget Pettis, co-founder of Project Roots Arizona, but you may recognize her as a WNBA champion and coach. Bridget, it is great to see you today. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here and I appreciate the Valley basketball love. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yes, we did. And so here's the big question. What made you go from the basketball court to the garden in Project Roots, Arizona? Um, I wish I'd have got there sooner <laughs> when I was on my court, but uh, I discovered it, you know, in my later in my years of coaching and, you know, I just wind up being a community gardener and my down season was wonderful just growing food and I had harvested so much food from what I would do every year I would wind up giving it to the food bank getting it out in the community and you know Project Roots kind of just came out of that natural experience that I had. And that's amazing and I love community gardens they're so wonderful if you don't have a space to garden was gardening and helping the community, feeding others, always a passion of yours or, or something that happened when you were growing up? Well, definitely making sure I was the oldest girl of, of the seven of us, the nine total in my family with my mom and dad. So I always had to make sure everybody had to eat. And I, I took a lot, took that to heart. You know, my stepfather implanted in, that in me at a young age. and. It just made sense. And not only did it, it was about feeding everyone, but making sure that we were eating the right thing, eating things that were, you know, gave us substance, gave us, uh, you know, a little bit more juice in life and made us feel good so we can do good. So, so Bridget, talk about the mission of Project Roots Arizona. So our mission right now, our main focus is education, um, educating our community on growing food and and our initiative in that is by us offering a community garden. Half of our garden has been divided into a community garden. So we have, it's a beautiful atmosphere to be around as I grow food, I have a community there. And also we have a children's class uh, every Saturday. And we see little, lots of little children that are getting, you know, getting their hands dirty, learning about the different flowers, learning about weeds, learning about things that can help with medicinally but med medically that we don't know about so it's all about educating educating you know families in their home today everybody can grow food yeah and your current location is in phoenix do you have any plans to expand to other cities absolutely uh everywhere <laughs> it's all about land you know we've been educating ourselves more and more on the importance of land and agricultural land at that it being only 2% of Blacks in this country that have agricultural land. And especially after, you know, the, the history of what has happened in, the, in this country, it's important that we get back to the land that was due to us, the land that is important for our people to have to pass on to our next generation. And I, I just wanna make sure we're educated and know what to do when that land is to be distributed. And that's fantastic. And I, I do hope you expand. Bridget, we know that Project Roots Arizona is a non for profit So how important are volunteers to the organization? Well, it's, it's the essence of it. You know, it's the community helping the community. Uh, it's coming out, being a part of our farmer's market, getting to know the community and getting your hands dirty. You get an opportunity to know really what Project Roots is, helping make a CSA box that we're gonna give off to the food bank. Also donating, being a part of what we're trying to do. Um, we have about four employees that we're trying to keep consistently on there that, that can keep us functioning in a healthy way. And volunteers is what we're all about. Absolutely. Bridget, continued success to you and Project Roots Arizona. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thank you. And I appreciate you even just putting us out there. And I just thank you. Absolutely. If you would like more information on Project Roots Arizona, just head to their website.